Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Desline. I'm going to show you how to get some cool personalized themes in Discord. Um, as you can see, my like background for Discord is a uh, is a Mirai Nikki picture, <laughs> and you don't see these in the uh, the Discord like theme for uh, better Discord. So, I'm going to go step by step on how to do this. Um, step one. Make sure you have Discord. That's just as simple as just looking it up. Looking up Discord and then downloading it for Windows or getting the open Discord. Um, after that, you wanna look up better Discord. Not themes yet, just better Discord. Um, go to betterdiscord.net and then download for Windows or SX. Mac OS X, which I already have. And then after that, look up Better Discord Plus, and uh, it should be on the GitHub uh, here. Uh, GitHub.com slash blue screen slash Better Discord plugins and themes. You can see the link up there. Um, it goes over how to get a better Discord experience. And so you just uh, Discord, better Discord, and then better Discord Plus, and you set all that up. I've already done that. I'm sure you people know how to set up an application if you're looking for this. Um, after this, you want to go and look up better Discord themes and go to the betterdiscord.net. After that, there is a top row up here with home, emotes, plugins, and themes. Go to themes. And here you can uh, get themes that, uh, this thing is not this where I really wanted it, but you get themes for the background of Discord, like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just download one, like uh, the Nova. You just click download. It's a, uh, it's a CSS file. So go ahead and um, once you download Better Discord and such, it should ask you where you want the directory. Usually it's in your users, app data, roaming and such. It'll be under Better Discord. Mine's personally the C disk user, the user I'm using, app data, roaming, Better Discord. Um, as you can kind of see right here. After that, they have a themes folder where you just put in your theme. So go ahead and drag in the downloaded theme of your choice. The personally, I'm going to be recommending that you use red and black because that's the one that works for me. You can experiment it with it afterwards. But after you do that, go back to, into Discord and uh, make sure you reset Discord after installing better Discord and such. You can just do that by Control R or going into your system tray. Um, and then just quitting Discord and reopening it. But once you get all that stuff, Control R Discord, which will restart the application. Go into your user settings, and at the bottom you should have a new tab, which is Better Discord. This will let you have some like cool new options and such, emotes, uh, a custom CSS, import, export, plugins, and uh, themes. So over here by themes. Um, normally when you don't have anything, this is what Discord looks like. It's just basic Discord. Oops. Basic Discord, just kind of bland and gray, but... Um, once you enable a theme, such as Nova theme, you'll get a cool background. This is the Nova theme. Um, kind of has like a space aspect, pretty bright, with a blue and red side. Fairly neat. But um, that doesn't explain how to get a customized background like I did in the red and black. So you can see I have a neat background back here. So what you want to do is go into your folder for the themes and open up the theme of your choice with um, Notepad++ or any other um, editing software such as Brackets or Notepad or WordPad. Personally, Notepad++ works the best for me. Um, and from there, in the red and black theme, 
Um, you'll have the app and the callout backdrop. So it'll have a customized picture already in it, um, which I already changed to this link right here. And uh, let me open up this. So when you go to, you're gonna put in a new imger picture slash nx. So this is the uh, the picture I uploaded to Imgur and has the uh, tag and everything. Um, they already have a, a built-in picture, not that I remember what it is off the top of my head. And they also have a customized background when you're looking up other stuff, which is this one right here. But um. Let's see if I could find the. Is it this? Yeah, this is the one that they start off with in red and black, which is a fairly nice picture on its own. But I personally wanted something that I liked that I already had. So this link will be in the CSS. Uh, yeah, in the CSS. And what you do is. So. When you download this theme specifically, it'll already have um, this. And uh, you actually have to make sure that it says um, HTTPS, which is secure. Otherwise, it doesn't work. I don't know. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm sure there are reasons. But once you do that, um, the actual app, once you save this and go to Discord and restart it, um, it'll switch to that background, except I messed something up <laughs> in the thing. I didn't add .jpg. Yeah, once you save it and then restart Control R your Discord, um, you'll get the background like that. You have to make sure it has HTTPS. Uh, forward slash forward slash blah, blah blah dot jpeg if you don't have the dot jpeg it doesn't work or the dot png whatever uh, file extension the picture is so this is the uh, the basic one that it starts with so if you wanted to change it to something like the one I have which is the Mirai Nikki one um, so you just upload a picture any picture really and just control C that link, go into your notepad or your editor and just completely change that to this. Make sure it has HTTPS and has .jpg or .png on the end depending on which file it is. Um, the call backdrop is basically the same thing. Um, when you're going to add like a new server or something, it'll show the callout backdrop, which was a different picture when you started it, but you can just change it to whatever else you want like this. But once you change it to the injure, um, go ahead and save it. Make sure you save the, uh, the, the file, save, save as, whatever. Um, Save and then just go ahead and control R and you will get your own personalized background. Um, this doesn't work with some themes as of right now due to the fact that they aren't updated for better discord or whatever, but you can test with other different themes that have like different points and how the pictures look and how the text looks and such. And um, you also have to mess around with the background size. Um, I personally use a 1280 by 720 resolution, which is 16 by 9 for both of them. Because if I go to 1920 by 1080, the picture is a little too scrunched in for whatever reason. So, yeah, that's how you get a personalized background. You can do this with practically any picture that I'm aware of. Let's go ahead and upload um, something. Let me make sure. I'm on the correct thing. Okay. Um, 
so yeah, you know, just upload to just or not Discord, Imgur. Just pick any like picture. I have a bunch of backgrounds for my monitor. So you just pick any picture. Let's go ahead and just pick one. Uh, you plastic memories, and then go ahead and uh, start the upload. It'll upload. You don't have to be logged in to upload stuff on Imgur, which is relatively nice. So this is a PNG file. So this is the plastic memories uh, picture that I have. It's 1920 by 1080. So you go ahead and Control C, go to your Notepad, and highlight this text out. Control V. Make sure you have secure and the file extension .png. Um, the size, which uh, for me it's 1280 by 720, and then go ahead and save it. Once you save this, make sure you go to Discord, and you can either manually restart it through your system tray by right-clicking on it and quitting Discord, and then restarting the application, or just hitting Control R when you are tabbed into Discord, and you should get your own background. So yeah, this is a rather long tutorial on how to get your own personalized background on Discord. Um, if there's any questions, feel free to ask. And yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it works out for you. Um, if not, feel free to ask in comments or whatever, and I will try to help you the best I can. So yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Catch you guys around.